Every individual thinks that it is abnormal, that they, they shouldn't have to do it, but every individual is human and if anyone thinks that they can do this job on your arm. for any length of time and it doesn't affect them, they're kidding themselves. But as a, as a, as a firefighter and as, as, an, as a man, admitting to those, those things is quite difficult. People say, but if I go down that road, am I going to end up, is that going to go against me when I want to progress on? I think the key worries we hear about in relation to going off work is how it will impact their career how people will judge them. Well, there's quite a few things that people might be nervous about when they're dealing with the peer support program or the peer supporters. And confidentiality is one of those things. So they're worried that, that they'll be seen talking to us or that we'll tell other people what we've been speaking about. So when we do our training and we sign on as peer supporters, we sign a confidentiality agreement. So we agree that we're not going to be talking about what we speak to uh, people we're dealing with about um, because it is no one else's business. Firefighters um, think that it takes a lot of bravery to run into a burning building, but if uh, they have a choice between asking for help or having a tough conversation with their mates, they'll choose the burning building rather than the conversation every time. There, there is still sometimes some men find it difficult. Um, uh, it's not that they don't want to seek help, sometimes they just think they can't articulate what's going on for them. If someone came to me and said, oh, well, I didn't want to come and see you because I found it to be a sign of weakness or whatever, I'd try and relay to them that yes, you are a tough, burly copper, but you are a tough, burly copper that still deals with a lot of problems that other people have to deal with as well. I realised that there was a real need to break down the stigma around mental health, um, and I thought that we do regular maintenance on our vehicles, on our equipment, and I think it's really important to do the same kind of maintenance on our mental health. It's nothing to be ashamed of. I'm, I'm a prime example of that. I've worked for many years in varying conditions, country, accidents, you name it. And I take no shame in stepping up and speaking out in the hope that it helps somebody else step forward.